Wake up before you take a wrong step and wind up flatter than fast food pancakes. Oh, hi. You were probably wondering how John got into this mess. I can tell you, but it'll have to be quick. Now then. John was having trouble sleeping lately. He's tried everything. <laughs> sleeping in all sorts of different positions. He got a book called How to Sleep. Try drinking a glass of warm milk after a hot bath. But that didn't work because John was unable to drink the hot bath. Then he decided to try counting sheep. But we didn't have any sheep, so we had to improvise. One, two, three. Oh. That didn't work either. But it did tire out Odie. Finally, he decided to watch TV. Are you wide awake all night? Unable to sleep? Are you so tired all day that you doze off in your oatmeal? All of those. <laughs> then come see me, Dr. Sonambulo. I can enable you to sleep all night through the power of hypnosis. I'm so desperate for a good night's sleep, I'm even willing to try that. John went there the next morning, but he had second thoughts, which is two more than John usually has. I shouldn't have come here, Dr. Somnambulo. People with superior intelligence can't be hypnotized. There's no way you can cause me to... <laughs> when I press this buzzer, you will awaken. Until I press it again, you will think you are a chicken. Better stop him before he lays an egg. Right. Fall asleep because I'm just too smart to be hypnotized. I think you will be a fine subject for the Hypnotron computer. A hypno what? The Hypnotron computer was this thing that Dr. Sonambulo had invented to program people with hypnotic suggestions. I just enter the code for the behavior pattern I wish to implant in him, and he will be properly programmed. I didn't notice, but I guess while well, the doc was programming John, Odie was distracted by a fly. John Arbuckle, you will fall sound asleep every time you hear this sound. I figured that must be how it happened. John accidentally got programmed with the sound of Odie barking. Only we didn't know it at the time. Now I shall test it and put you to sleep. And to wake him up, you just buzz the buzzer again. So I really don't think this is going to work on me. Here, kitty cat. You put him to sleep with this, and then wake him up when he is sufficiently rested. Oh, got it. And keep a careful eye on him. Huh? Once in a while, rarely. People under hypnosis have been known to walk in their sleep. And so we headed home. Liz is coming over. She's giving a speech next week to the Veterinarians Association. I should have been a little suspicious that something was wrong. But my mind was on other things, like lunch. I just want you to listen to this speech I have to give. Glad to be of help. This would be a good time to eat. Not that there's ever a bad time. Ahem. My fellow veterinarians, it is an honor to appear before you today. When I was asked to address you, John! John! Are you listening to me? Hanging on every word, Liz. All right. 
When I was asked to address you, I asked ah. myself to... If you think my speech is so boring it puts you to sleep, you can just take a nap, John Arbuckle. Goodbye. Ah. Liz? Liz? Gee, I thought she wanted me to hear her speech. Odie, did you see where Liz went? John dozed off three times during dinner and six while playing video games, and he never even knew it. Finally, it was time for bed. You can try that buzzer thing if you want, Garfield, but it won't do any good. I can't be hypnotized. For a time there, it looked like John was right. Ooh. Quiet, Odie. I'm trying to get John to fall asleep. It finally worked. Shh, don't wake him up. We thought the problem was over, but it was actually just beginning. We sat there watching TV, figuring John was fast asleep. And he was. But something in him had decided to go for a walk. See you later, John. <gasps> Where'd he go? Another passenger without exact change. All right. John is sleepwalking. Just like that doctor warned, we have to wake him up. The trouble was, the bus was much faster than we were. Followed the trail of our sleepwalking friend to Vito's Pizzeria. He must have gone out the huh? back way. Huh? Any sign of him, Odie? Huh? You get help. I'm going to try to wake him up. And that was how we both wound up up here. The trouble is, I keep buzzing this buzzer and it doesn't wake him up. There's got to be a way to wake him up before he takes the wrong step. So as I was saying, I don't think there's any way to hypnotize me to sleep. I'll just lie awake here in my bed. Oh!
He will no longer fall asleep. I'll be right back. While we're here, I think I'll give John a new hypnotic command. You know, guys, I got a good night's sleep and I feel great. I have a feeling my insomnia is gone. Great. In fact, I feel so good, I'm not going to make you any lasagnas right now, Garfield. I'm going for a walk. Hoodie, bark, please. <laughs> Must make lasagnas. Hoodie? Huh? <laughs> Must make lasagnas. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Must make lasagnas. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> 